what is good everybody it's your girl ari coming right back at you with another video and today it is all about this look yes we are back with the crochet and i'm here to answer a lot of your questions which was concerning my previous video asking if it's possible to do this style on your entire head so here i am showing you that yes it is possible i'm showing you all the hair because some of y'all did not believe me last time so here's the hair here are the products if you have any questions check the description box and don't be afraid to comment down below i will answer you so yeah if you're interested in seeing how you achieve this just keep on watching and yeah i hope you enjoy step one is to either choose to do the flat twist or the elastic bands and you don't have to twist it like how i twisted mine it's just because i did it last night and i needed to go to bed and i didn't want to leave it out and then on top I did flat twists because I know a lot of my viewers they don't know how to cornrow or y'all just lazy like me and like cornrowing takes time so I decided to do flat twists it works just as well I tried it in my ponytail video if you want to check that out so the first step that I do oh I forgot my comb one second okay so I'm back with my comb and basically the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my baby hairs because I realize, well, it's not baby hairs, I fake my baby hairs. So I just pull out my edges because I realize if you don't do this before, especially with the elastics, is really, the elastics grab like all of your edges. So you need to get it out if you want to have that cute baby hair thing going on in the front. I have 4C textured hair, so it's like really like coiled right now. And my hair is blow dried, by the way. Washed and blow dried. Okay, this, I'm gonna let you know right now that this video is featuring this amazing product. This product comes from an african-american owned company that contacted me and my sister for our channel and <clears throat> excuse me and as soon as first of all as soon as i saw african-american company i was just like yes girl i don't care what it is just send it over because i just love supporting our 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 products our companies and i to be honest i wasn't expecting it to be like an amazing product that was going to change my life but my word like this is called the bella beauty pomade it's uh the company is called bella beauty 918 and they made this pomade it works as an edge control and a and a hair styling gel two in one and it is infused with castor oil and yo guys this is it's amazing the cool thing about it is that you see how it looks black right now it's actually completely completely clear I don't know if you oh wrong finger huh <laughs> let me switch up that finger for you you see it's completely clear I realized for this style this is like gonna be my main feature and now you should really get it. I'm gonna put all the links in the description box below. Go and support this company. Go and support our black owned businesses. It's not just for the sake of supporting, it's because you're gonna love this. Just just in case any of you guys don't know how to flat twist, to make it easier, for beginners, you can make a little part. This is where I take my Bella Beauty pomade. And when I tell you this thing freezes your hair, like, ooh. I'm gonna put a little bit there you split it in two take the two like this and we're just going to twist like that and we're gonna keep doing that while picking up here and that is so much faster than cornering you have no idea like it's so much faster <laughs> I'm gonna start with the first piece so now I'm just loosening it out I swear some of y'all thought I was lying in my previous video. Like, <laughs> I'm not lying. Look, this is the same here that I was dealing with. And I will be braiding it again. It's just that I wanted the initial volume, especially how I'm in kind of in a rush to get to the barbershop for this mess. And you see, that's how it looks. So this is not how the hair comes in the pack. This is how it looks after you've dipped it in hot tool. Hopefully that's more clear for you guys now. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you the freezing power of this product. And I'm not getting paid for this at all. I just love this, okay? You see how I leave this out? A lot of you guys had concerns of your hair frizzing doing this. I suggest taking this pomade and just sleeping it down. That is not frizzing or puffing up anywhere. Like, you could stab somebody with this. Now I'm going to approach as usual.
where my natural hair is because it's so smooth like you can't even tell me if you can see it <laughs> I can find it um, yeah I can't even find it it's somewhere in between here so you don't have to worry about that puffing oh there it is but it's so into the, like you can't even tell that it's there I'm gonna do one more for the boxes sticking out you can't see it I forgot to show you on the other side for the beginning I'm also doing the invisible method as usual you only take one in order to make the invisible one through loop pomade on the natural hair what I did was I noticed I it's better to seal it with the extension and you really you really can't see it like at all I brought this one a little bit too far down like it's, it's supposed to stop right here <laughs> but I got a little carried away but either way um it doesn't matter it's gonna get hidden or I could just pull it back like that see and it ends there so we could we're back here I did a very messy job. I literally took like huge chunks like this. <laughs> okay, a little bit smaller. No, like this. And I crocheted the back because no one's gonna really see that. But at the front, now I'm gonna show you like when it becomes more refined. one all right so I am all done I is done and basically now it's time for the fun part to do my edges so what I did was I just wet my edges with water which is why I messed up my makeup foundation but anyway I wet it with water I'm gonna be using a combination of the pomade and my eco styler gel I'm gonna use the eco first just to like smooth it out and then I'm gonna put this to freeze it so it doesn't move let's get into it this part should really be done before you put on makeup because the struggle is going to be real Now I'm just going to put on my headscarf and then we're going to move on to cutting and shaping because this is way too much hair for summer. Like, jeez. Let's shape this up. So I just finished cutting it a little bit and trimming it. It obviously needs more shaping. And um, I think it's a little bit too big for me. I love it. I'm feeling it. But like at the same time, it's about it's going to be like 30 degrees outside. So this here is a little bit too, too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly what I did in my $5 Brazilian curly hair video. But if this is your thing, stick with it. Honestly, this looks good like this. It's just that it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot right now. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to come back and show you my final, final, final. 